All right, let's expand this further with Oliver Cornock. He's from the Oxford Business Group, joining us from our London studios this week. Oliver, thank you for your time. From what you see, from the information we've got here about Israel's gas fines, is it enough, or is it something at least, which could turn Israel into a Middle Eastern energy player? Well, I think the most significant factor at the moment is that um, it gives Israel independence, which it hasn't had so far in terms of its, its energy supply. Um, you've got to bear in mind that, that Israel currently relies sort of for 77 percent of its, um, of its electricity on, on coal coming from Russia. It relies 50 percent of its gas um, coming from Egypt. Um, so this find is very significant in terms of the domestic supply with, within Israel. And they'll be enough left for, for export further down the line. Um, I think also with factors such as a carbon footprint, um, reducing reliance on coal is very important. And also then add into that the geopolitical factors being reliant on other countries for supply. Um, it, it's significant from that perspective as well. So Israel could now potentially start to look after its own needs. Uh, looking past that, and I guess we're, we're looking at the money side of things here, could it even be exporting, turning into a source of energy? I mean, certainly further down the line. But, but look, this isn't going to happen immediately. The, these fines are significant in themselves. And the smaller field that was discovered some 18 months ago, Tamar, um, will come online in 2013, potentially. And, and the larger Leviathan field that the, the media is currently talking about is not until 2017. So, so we've got some time there. But we've also got a fact in here that, that in order to fully exploit these, it's very likely that, that Israel will have to form partnerships with, with some international multinational players. But then there's also this petroleum law which Israel has. It offers good prices to the energy companies. Now though there is talk of a change to that, what would that be? What would be the effect? This was designed in 1952 when the State of Israel was very young and, and was desperate for some form of energy security. Obviously things have now changed dramatically and it will, you know, it's not considered unreasonable, Israel argues, to, to up the rate of tax on, on, in, on profits. And this has been done by other countries as well, Algeria notably. Um, I think this also is argued to bring the, um, the, profits, the profit take in line with, with OECD countries. At the top you have somewhere like Norway which has virtually sort of nationalised its, 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 its oil sector um, across to Nigeria which is the opposite extreme. I mean look at Lebanon, that's also looking at these gas reserves and thinking hmm, we could make a claim to this. Again from the information that we have, do you think the Lebanese have got a claim to Absolutely. this as well as Israel? Well, they certainly feel, feel they do. I mean, they've, they've already put a deposition into the UN over this. Um, I think perhaps it's perhaps better to broaden this out a bit and look at it in terms of this eastern Mediterranean supply, or, or as it's called, the Levant Basin. Um, you look at Cy Cyprus, which has a, has a, has a claim here. Um, you look at um, Syria that has potential. You look at Lebanon that has potential. We're suddenly looking at something that further down the line could be very significant indeed. And as you rightly say, how this is carved up going forward will, will be crucial. Um, in terms, though, of, of the, the global position on, on gas, I mean, quite simply, whilst there's a lull at the moment in Europe in terms of demand, globally and going forward, um, China has an almost insatiable appetite. Uh, India's not far behind. I think whatever Israel um, can export, or more broadly this Mediterranean basin can export, is, go is going to be easily consumed within the market. Can I just go back to a point you made, because you kept using the word potential. Cyprus has got potential, Lebanon's got potential, these countries have the potential. Who actually decides in the end? Where are the lines drawn? Well, it's, it's, a, it's, a very it's a very difficult one, and I think it's fairly early days on that. Um, it, it may well come down to UN arbitration, but ex the UN hasn't exactly got a great track record on terms of those sorts of, of, of disputes. Um, but, uh, so I think the key word is, as you rightly identify, potential. I and mean, it's fairly early days. All right, Oliver Cornock joining us there from the Oxford Business Group in London. Now, as countries around the world push to increase anti-tobacco 